Right, welcome to this review for Chapter Approved 2018. Uh, Games Workshop very kindly have sent me a copy ahead of time, uh, and I've been busy updating all of the <laughs> points changes. It's the main uh, thing I've been doing here with this book, so uh, there's been a lot. So I hope to cover those in this video. Uh, so it will be mostly points reductions for a lot of units, not all of the codexes. Uh, for example, uh, Orcs, no change at all. Uh, but Codex is like some of the older ones, Space Marines for example, loads of points changes and mostly reductions so uh, some uh, big changes taking place and some of my armies that I have going to have to start reworking them a bit, adding in a couple of extra models or a character uh, if I'm going to stay at the 2000 points level. So uh, this is good though, uh, James Workshop trying to address the balance so some units that aren't performing very well or over costed units uh, seeing points reductions, uh, they're sort of listening to the community and which units are falling out of favour uh, and then some of the units that are very powerful they're giving them a points increase. So I think it's a good idea and you, they just bring out this book once a year to update you uh, which is no problem at all and the way they've done it it's not just an update it's a whole lot of new missions and stuff in here as well so I like chapter approved I think it's a, a good idea. So uh, as I said, Games Workshop sent me a copy. Usually I go to gamingfigures.com, they do Games Workshop with discounted rates. You can check them out and get a discount off your regular 40k. Uh, Age of Sigma and other gaming systems available from them also. So, the format's pretty much what 2017 was, and I, I really enjoyed that book. Uh, the missions, we really enjoyed playing all of the missions the Master of War, Eternal War missions uh, from that book, and now I've got a whole load of new missions to play. So, uh, exciting release this chapter approved for 2018. So just an introduction, the usual split, open play, narrative play and match to play, that's obviously going to be the main focus is match to play but there's updates for all of those. So open play, so yeah they've given you uh, a cart here for the orcs and also uh, a wagon and a battle fortress. I'll cover these here because they're unique to chapter approved. Now, problem is that these are open play. I was hoping these would be match to play, but it's open play, so yes, they're available, kind of. Match to play games, which is what we play, uh, not available, sadly. So, uh, but never mind, I mean, it is like a, a sort of fluffy but stylized unit. So Games Workshop just making it available for open play games. But the cart here, it's power level five. Yeah, no, I was looking for the points, but I, I, I'm guessing open play, you're not running by uh, strict points. It's just going by power levels. Power level five for the cart here. Uh, on the stat line, it's strength six, toughness seven, and 10 wounds, leadership six, and a three plus save. And then uh, on your damage chart here, uh, movement 12, ballistic skill is affected here, it's 5+, plus, then drops to 6+, plus, and then 6+, plus. 3 attacks, d3, and then 1. Movement goes from 12 down to 6, down to 3, uh, when, once you reach 1 or 2 wounds remaining. So that's the cart. Uh, equipped with a big shooter, model may take up to 2 additional weapons from the following list, so big shooter and a scorcher. Uh, this model may take up to 6 shooters, uh, this model may take a stick bomb launcher as well, just the usual rules. Uh, you can refer to the Orcs Codex for that. Explodes result is uh, on there on a six, it explodes, six inches, uh, units suffer D3 mortal wounds. Daka, daka, daka. Usual rules for that. Big red button. Once per battle at the start of the shooting phase, the driver of the cart can hit the fighting a mysterious red button mounted on his dashboard. When he does roll D3 on the table below and see what happens. <laughs> That's pretty good. The so booster, immediately move to the model six, as if it were your movement phase. Models cannot disembark from the vehicle before doing so. Or more DACA, add one to the strength characteristic of this model's ranged weapons to the end of the phase. Uh, or auto welder, the model regains D3 lost wounds. It's good fun. Yeah, and it can transport 10 flesh skits or clan infantry models. And the usual rules for mega armor and jump pack models for that. See so yeah, how the cart's okay, another truck really, but a better one. A better save, better toughness. Yeah, so cart's good. <clears throat> then uh, the wagon, proper looted wagon. Uh, so like a, a looted Lima Russ, for example. 
Uh, weapon skill, 5 plus. Strength, 7. Toughness, 8. 12 wounds. Leadership, 6. And a 3 up save. Yeah, that's good. Um, same. Generally the same uh, damage table here. So just movement 10. Drops to 7, then to 4. And it's the same there for ballistic skill and attacks. Yeah, just more wounds. 12 wounds. So this model may take a kill cannon, lobber, or zap gun. So that's your proper sort of lean rust replacement there. This model may replace its big shooter with a scorcher or zap gun. Oh, so you can take two. This model may take a kill cannon, lobber, or zap gun. And then this model may replace its big shooter with a scorcher or zap gun. Oh, right, okay, so you can add the zap gun there as well. So you have two zap guns, technically. This model, model may take up to two additional weapons in the following list. Big shooter, scorcher. Rocket launchers, nice. This one will also take a stick bomb launcher. Yeah, so you can really kind of equip that well. Great. So like the even rust weapons basically can be swapped out for decent weapons. Uh, loads of different combinations available there. It's power level 11. Uh, daka, daka, daka. Mobile fortress, this penalty, this model ignores the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons. Great. It's really good. Shoot them again. If this model remains stationary or moves under half speed in its movement phase, uh, i.e. its move, it moves a distance in inches less than half its current move characteristic, it can shoot twice in the following shooting phase of its kill cannon or lobber, the weapon must target the same unit both times. Great, brilliant rules. Yeah, and then the big red button again, same rules, booster, more daca, and also welder. Great, that's a really good unit that. So really good rules that for the looted wagon. So that's good, Sh shame. Oh man, shame that it is open play only. Okay, and then you got the Battle Fortress, power level 29. Uh, weapon skill 5 plus, strength 9, toughness 8, 26 wounds. Brilliant, this is really good. Leadership 8 and a 3 up save. Movement is 10, then 7, then 4. And then ballistic skill 5 plus drops to 6 plus and 6 plus. And then attack starts at 9. God. Uh, then six, then three. Battle Fortress is a single model equipped with a death cannon, kill cannon, big shooter, twin big shooter, and crushing tracks. Nice. This model may replace its death cannon with a mega gatler. Brilliant. Yeah, I'll just run through all of the options here and I'll come back to some of these weapons. This model may replace its kill cannon with a twin big shooter or zap gun or lobber. This model may take up to two additional weapons from the following list big shooter, scorcher, rocket launcher. This model may take t either two sponsons or four sponsons. Each sponson is equipped with either a zap gun, a rocket launcher, or a twin big shooter or twin scorcher. E.g. rocket launcher and twin shooter or twin scorcher. This model may take up to, t up to two stick bomb launchers. So it's bristling with guns. So, crushing tracks first of all. Strength views. Remember you've got nine attacks. Upper skill is only five plus though. Hmm. Uh, but if you hit strength user, which is strength 9, minus 2 and d3 damage. So it's alright in close combat. Yeah. Uh, then you want to see the big guns. Right, the Mega Gatler, if you go for that, is range 48, heavy 4d6. Strength 7, minus 2 and 1 damage. Cool. Or the Death Cannon. Range 70. Whoa. Range 72. Heavy 3d6, strength 10, minus 4, <laughs> d6 damage. <laughs> oh dear. Death cannon's horrific. Wow. Okay, Battle Fortress, great rules for that. It's going to be expensive. Well, it's expensive with power points here. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. I've looked through the back here, but I think match play is just a. or um, open play is just your. Uh, power levels you can use. There it is, the Battle Fortress. Uh, so, special rules here, Battle Fortress, this model can fall back in the movement phase and still shoot and charge. Brilliant. Really good. In addition, this model ignores the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons. Excellent. And can, except with firing overwatch, still fire its weapons if enemy units are within an inch. Superb. Uh, but only if it's twin big shooters or twin scorchers can target units within an inch of it. And other guns must target other units. Finally, these rules are great here. Finally, this model only gains a bonus to its saving throws being in cover if at least half the model is obscured from the fire, which is fine. Does have big red button. Useful. Yeah. 
and Daka 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 as well. So, if this model is equipped with a Mega Gatler, yes, yeah, the weapon's not as good, it gains transport keyword and can transport 30 flash gits or clan infantry models and the usual is for Mega Armor Jump Pack units. Yep, yeah, no, but I would take the Death Cannon, that's the killer. That is a deadly, deadly weapon. Yeah, really good. So the Battle Fortress. So then they give you a conversion guide showing you how you can make your own looted wagons. Now, this is vaguely familiar, this one. <laughs> and leave him Russ, and then use the battle wagon turret on top. So, something like this, look. <laughs> this one here. Here's one I made earlier. So, uh, I've done mine just different to how they show you on here, but it's a, it's a very straightforward one to do, and it just, it looks fantastic. So, leave him Russ. Uh, I chucked the looted bits on the back here, um, bullets magazines, cartridges, uh, and so on. And then, I for my one, I just simply widened this hole here. And then that lets the turret then just fit inside like so. Very straightforward, very easy. Uh, cut off the last can and stuck a big shooter on the, on the front of that. Stuck a dozer blade on there as well uh, from the orc truck set. And then some orc glyphs and paneling here and there. Just patching up. If you're going to make one of these, you need to put some battle damage on there for sure. You know, it's a looty wagon, so you've got to show where the, the original tank's been looted uh, and then uh, patched up and so on, and sort of make it a grubbier, dirty, dirtier version where the orcs haven't really looked after it as much as the Astra and the Tyrant would have done. So, and to make it orky, I also recommend try and stick a crew member on there so it's not just a vehicle, but it's definitely occupied by orcs. So, you know, a, a crewman of some kind, a couple of grots clambering around uh, just to add the effect. And of course, you can use the glyphs as well from your orc uh, transfer sheet as well, just to make it look a bit more orky. And a bit of graffiti as well, wouldn't go miss. There it is. But just as I show you here, I, I don't think they copied me. I, I'm sure that's a common enough conversion that people uh, have done. So then, Moving on, you can go for custom characters. Remember, we are still in the open play uh, section here, but you've got a result of D66. So you're rolling up all the way from double one all the way up to double six, and you get things like Impetuous, you can re-roll foul charge rolls for the model, Rallying Cry on a 52, you can re-roll foul morale tests for friendly sub-faction units while well, seven six inches. This model has little perks and bonuses. Uh, just that. Uh, you got weapon improvements, psychic enhancements, and characteristic modifiers as well. So like a three here, courageous, add one to the model's leadership characteristic. Or enhanced physiology, add one to the model's toughness characteristic. So there you go. They're giving you an example here of a customised character, Captain Argentus. Like so. That's see from the Silver Skulls chapter. So that's that for open play, into narrative play. There's some things I'm going to dwell on, others I'm going to uh, sort of move through here. So narrative play, then you've got battle honours. Using battle honours, gaining battle honours. This is like great for your campaigns and so on. Uh, battle honours on one-off games, representing battle honours. Here they are. So. Experience points you can gain, so unit, unit took part in the battle, you get plus one, unit was con and then controlled an objective mark at the end of the battle, you get plus two. Uh, another example, unit destroyed the enemy warlord during the battle, you get bonus D3. So, great. And then experience points, keep a tally for your units. Zero to four is rank is green, battle honor none. Five to nine is blooded, pick a, a rank one battle honor for the unit, like so. So, for example, Agile, Reroll, Advance and Charge Rolls for the unit. Great, this is all cool, very good stuff. Uh, 10 to 24 is experience. Pick two rank, two battle honour. Pick a rank two battle honour for this unit. So, Assassins. Add one to the wound rolls for attacks made by models in this unit that target enemy character unit, for example. Alternative, you can pick a different rank one battle honour for the unit. Uh, then you go Veteran, Elite and then Legendary here as well, which is rank 5. Brutal. 
Add one to the strength and attacks characteristic of models in this unit during any turn in which they made a successful charge move. Okay. Discipline, rank 4. Unit can shoot or charge during a turn in which it fell back. Useful. Okay. So, that's a good idea. Oh, there's more here. Monster battle on us. So you can get something like Juggernaut, reroll failed charge rolls for the model. Terrifying, subtract one, leadership characteristic of enemy units, whilst within six inches of the model. So little perks and bonuses. And vehicles here as well. So you can go for Blessed Drive. If this model has a damage table, double the number of wounds it has remaining for the purposes of determining its move characteristic. Okay. Uh, the best one is Blessed Weapons. If this model has a damage table, double the number of wounds it has remaining for the purposes of determining what its ballistic skill characteristic is. Great. Uh, rules for City of Death. Uh, there's missions here. Warlord traits available. There's some other rules here as well. Height advantage, lucky hit. Hit roll of a six always hits the target irrespective of any modifiers. Streets and roads. It's extra three inches. Dangerous terrain. On a one, it's mortal wounds and so on. It's pretty straightforward rules here. Narrative play mission special rules, you've got concealed deployment, dawn raid, preliminary bombardment, sustained assault reserves, random battle length. Some stratagems added here as well to use. Four pages. Urban battle zones, here they give you... Yeah. Uh, sort of themed... Battle zones here, it's infestation, it's like a tyranny one, conflagration, pollution, there's some specific stratagems to use as well. I think it's a real variety to games of 40k now. You could gradually, yeah, if this is like a book that comes out once a year, then you could pace yourself, work your way through uh, for a year and get a lot of enjoyment out of the different missions that are available. You know, dip into some of these narrative missions here. So, Cities of Death narrative play. One mission here is the Gauntlet. Then, Total Devastation. Yeah, these are. We, we may try some of these out on the channel. No harm in doing narrative missions here. The Relief Force. We're virtually surrounded. Grand Assault. Thunder Run. <laughs> they do sound very good, these. And Decapitation. Nice. And then we're on to match to play. So uh, they're catering for for everyone here. So new battlefront. Spitting two battleforged armies against one another. Match to play missions are level are as level a playing field as you can get in your 40k games. Victory will go to the commander who has the fortune, strategy, and cunning on their side. And each new mission you play is an opportunity to master all three. So yeah, it's good. So yeah, there's uh, six Eternal War missions, six Maelstrom of War missions here as well. And they're just clarifying things here as well, that the, the rules here match play mission rules, the Battle Brothers. All these units need to detach from your Battle Forge. I must have at least one faction keyword in common. In addition, these keyword, this keyword cannot be Chaos, Imperium, Eldari, Yunari, Tyranids. This detachment in question is a fortification network. This has no effect to army faction. Uh, boots on the ground, again, these rules are all familiar, I, I think. Uh, when determining which player controls an objective marker, exclude all units of the flyer battlefield role. These units can never control objective markers yet, so we know about that one. Limits of command. You cannot use the command reroll stratagem to affect mission dice rolls. Mission dice rolls include any dice rolls that are made before the battle begins, such as those that determine who chooses deployment zones or who gets the first turn. Okay, those that must be made at the end of a battle round, such as roles that determine if the battle ends, or any roles that determine how many victory points are awarded to a player. So you need to remember that, can't re-roll. Uh, yeah, so you got DP victory points, can't re-roll that. Psychic focus, uh, so this is all familiar here. Uh, so smite just goes up one to try and cast it each time, whether it's successful or not. So even if you attempt it and fail, it'll still add one onto the next time it's attempted, unless you have Brotherhood of Psychers or Brotherhood of Sorcerers, so that is Thousand Sons and Great Knights. Strategic Discipline, uh, the same stratagem cannot be used in the same player, by the same player, uh, more than once during any single phase. 
So you can use it during the turn multiple times, but it's limited with per phase. This does not affect stratagems that are not used during a phase, such as those used, quote, before the battle begins or at the end of a battle round. Uh, targeting characters, and this is clarified, we know this already. An enemy character with wounds characteristic of 10, of less than 10, can only be chosen as the target, or as a target in the shooting phase, if it is both visible to the firing model and it is the closest enemy unit to the firing model. Ignore other enemy characters with a wounds characteristic of less than 10 when determining if the target is the closest enemy unit to the firing model. So, I'm just clarifying that. This means that if any other enemy units, excluding other characters with wounds characteristic of 10, of less than 10 are closer, whether they're visible or not, then the enemy character cannot be targeted. Then one other thing here, understrength support, understrength units can only be included in auxiliary support detachments. Yeah, so it's uh, less than 10 wounds, so Gilliman's fine. He's got nine wounds, so he's safe. Okay. So that's those, but it's all clarified now, you know, what's been discussed and uh, rules that we've heard about here and there. Uh, you know, gradually introduced, this is all now the book chapter approved 2018. So turn a wall then. So I'm not going to run through all of these missions here but uh, I'll call them out. Uh, vital intelligence is the first one. Uh, we plan to work our way through all of these missions uh, in the various battle reports to come. Uh, so hopefully into the new season, new year especially, start to see them. Uh, I'll be playing through those on both of the channels and that'll be in challenge games, uh, regular battle reports, season Six finishing off season seven next year, uh, so hoping to work away for all of those. So you can check out those better reports if you want to see how these different missions work. Uh, but vital intelligence is mission number one. Narrow the search, uh, mission number two. Cut off the head, mission number three. Uh, the four pillars, mission number four. Supplies from above, mission number five, and then beachhead. Uh, for mission number six, sounds good. Then Maelstrom of War, Disruptive Signals, uh, Decapitation Strike, that's the next one. Strategic Gamble, Tactical Cascade. So excited, I love the idea of new missions. Brilliant. Visions of Victory, <laughs> Scars of Battle. Great choices here. Yeah. Great names here. Yeah. And uh, you know, if they follow along the same standard as Chapter Approved 2017, these should be really good fun. So, excellent. So, all we have here uh, in the appendix is Battlefield Terrain. They clarify some of the terrain. Uh, Codex Adepta Sororitis. Now, Sisters of Battle, what I plan to do is do uh, a separate video for this, like a Codex review, treat it the same. Uh, so I'll go for all the units, stats, points, and so on in that separate video. That's the plan for the Sisters of Battle. Uh, Renegade Knights I'll do here in this video. And then there's rules for the eight, that's for the tower. Uh, and then Battle Forged Armies, it's talking about here, updated points values. Uh, in this video I, I do plan to cover the points values for you as well, so you can get the updated uh, values and updated data sheets. There's a couple of data sheets that have been updated as well. So battlefield terrain, uh, most of it's just as it's played already, but it's just sort of clarified it more. Um, so this is your updated version here for craters, barricades, uh, galvanic uh, servo haulers. So they're adding in some of the new, newer stuff here. Muminatorum armored containers lets you fire the, the, the twin uh, storm bolters on there. For example, yeah, uh, ruins, woods, and they've got all the new stuff in here as well. So, uh, thermic plasma conduits, hemotrope reactors, obstacles, sector mechanicus, uh, imperial statu statuary, thermic plasma regulators. So this is great, all your rules here for these. And then, yeah, it's the new forest, the Eldar stuff that they released as well. So it's all covered there. Death World Forests, Grapple Weed, uh, Shard Rack, Spine, Eldritch Ruin, Barbed, Venom Gorse. Just that, okay. So if this is a battle, if you wanna check out 
that and see the separate video for them because this video will be crazy length here because there's all the unit entries, stratagems, warlord traits, uh, all of your uh, relics and so on covered in there. So we'll leave that for a separate video so you can just focus in uh, on that faction if you're interested. So, uh, so Renegade Knights then, don't need to dwell on this too much because the stats and so on are going to be pretty much as Imperial Knights. Yeah, so there's nothing really. The regular standard Renegade Knight looks all the same to me here. Weapon skill and ballistic skill still 3 plus, still 4 attacks. Uh, the weapons here Avenger Gatling Cannon, Heavy Flamer, Heavy Stubber, Iron Storm Missile Pod, Melter Gun, and so on. Just looking through, it's all the same. Iron Shield, 5 plus Invon Save as usual, Super Heavy Rules for the Walker. Engine of Destruction. If this model has a Reaper, Chain Sword, and a Thunder Strike Gauntlet, its attack characteristic is, characteristic, is, characteristic is changed to 5, and its weapon skill is improved by 1. So it becomes weapon skill 2 plus. Nice. And it's uh, Chaos and Quest at Traitorus. Uh, the Renegade Knight Dominus. Here. Yeah, it's all fine. Usual rules dual plasma, dual plasma core explosion, super heavy walker. So, yeah, can't see any. Weapon skill 4 plus, ballistic skill 3 plus. Can't see any changes here. So, just makes these units open and available for your Chaos armies. And the Renegade Armiger. Usual rules for that. I don't think there's any changes here. Just again, chaos quest to trade Taurus. Uh, points values. I'll call these out for you. Um, so, I mean, what I've been doing. Some people wouldn't deface a codex, but I've been taking my codexes, going to the back page, and then just simply writing in the new values next to your, your entries here. So that means when you're calculating a list, you don't have to say, "Oh, I need to check chapter three. What is, what's the values again?" Or you forget to do it. Uh, but you just translate it over into codex, and it means you can just always keep referring to your codex. The updated points costs are there next to the original points, and it just makes the whole thing a lot easier. But I know some people would put a single mark on a codex and leave it fresh, but uh, I just think a little number just makes things a lot easier. Uh, but the Reaper, uh, this is for your melee weapons and points values. Uh, it's Reaper Chain Cleaver is zero, Reaper Chain Sword is 30. Thunderstrike Gauntlet is 35 and Titanic Fleet is 0. Then Armiger Auto Cannon is 5. Uh, the Avenger Gatling Cannon is 75. The Conflagration Cannon is 0. Heavy Flamer is 14. Heavy Stubbers 2. Iron Storm Missile Pod is 16. Melter Guns 14. Plasma Decimator 0. Rapid Fire Battle Cannon is 100. Shield Breaker Missiles 12. Storm Spear Rocket Pods 45. Thermal Cannon is 76, Thermal Spear is 0, Thunder Core Harpoon is 0, Twin Icarus Auto Cannon is 20, Twin Melter Gun is 0, uh, Twin Shield Breaker Cannon is 35, and the Volcano Lance is 10. So you, know, you can make a note of those, start adjusting your uh, lists and so on. Uh, Renegade Armiger starts at 160, Renegade Knight 285, and the Renegade Knight Dominus is 500. Starting cost, that doesn't include war gear for any of those. So, uh, there's some extras here. Detachment rules. So, yeah, all or trait. If a quest or a traitorous titanic character is your warlord, you can choose to give them the following warlord trait. Inter Infernal quest. If your warlord is in range of an objective marker as specified within the mission, it controls that objective marker, even if there are more enemy models within range of it than the same objective marker. If an enemy model within range of the same objective marker has a similar ability, such as troops, then the objective marker is controlled by the player as the most models within range. In this case, however, your warlord counts as 10 models. Good, okay, that's cool. Okay. Uh, relic, the traitor's mask, or the traitor's mark. Enemy units must subtract one from the leadership characteristic whilst they're in 12. Whilst they're in 6, it's minus 2 from the leadership. You've got rotate iron shields, one command point slash 
3. Use the stratagem on enemy unit targets. A quest to Traitorous vehicle from your army that has an inv save. This stratagem costs 3 command points. If the targeted unit is a renegade Dominus Knight, otherwise it costs 1. Interesting. To the end of the phase, the vehicle's inv save is improved by 1 to maximum of 3. Plus. And then Trail of Destruction is 2 command points. Use a stratagem when you choose a quest or traitorous unit from your army to take make attacks in the shooting or fight phase. To the end of that phase, you can hear all failed hit rolls for that unit. Great, that's a really good one. Very useful indeed. Right, then you're on to the 8. It's like almost which have just been transported into a tower codex with all of the, the artwork for them here. So, just to introduce you to these characters, give you the stats line for them. Uh, and it's interesting. Let's see if I can find it here. Tower Empire. What you have. Yeah. So the eight here, it's 22 models in the unit. That's, I guess there's drones and so on in there. Uh, and the points, including all the war gear, is 1,120 points. You get these characters here. So you get Commander of Farsight, and you get all the other characters associated with them as well. Commander Bravestorm, cool. Commander Bright Sword, yeah, that's your twin link fusion or double fusion blaster, great. And the uh, Chasso Savastos, this one. Chasso Aracon, Broadside Chasseray, Oblatai, 9 0. Then Sub Commander Torch Star. Oh, great names, I'm taking all the names here for my Tower Commander. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to think of a name. And then Ovesa. Great names here, very cool. Yeah, and then using the 8 in battle. So, Sept Tenet. They became the following Sept Tenet. It's a devastating counter strike. Reroll, wound rolls of 1 for models with this Tenet for shooting attacks against enemy units sort of in six of the firing model, right? So just the style of uh, the fast light enclosures up close and devastating, firepower. Oh, there's the points value for them there as well. There are your rules, usual rules from the guest to match the tower codex. There it is. There's all those stat lines. So, Yeah, some interesting stuff here. So for the greater good, the enemy unit declares a charge. You know this ability is within six inches of one of the charging units. Targets may fight overwatch as if they're also targeted. The unit that does so cannot fire overwatch again in this turn. There they are. So I'll leave out the drones, but just to call out the others. So you've got far sight then. Uh, movement eight, they're all movement eight. Oh, even though no, the broadside's movement five. And Ovesa is the damage chart, which is movement 12, 8, and 4. Got 4 attacks, 3 attacks, 2 attacks. Ballistic skill is 4 plus, then 5 plus, and 5 plus. Fast sight, then weapon skill uh, 2 plus, ballistic skill 2 plus. Strength 5, toughness 5. They're all strength 5, toughness 5. All of these, apart from Ovesa. Uh, wound 6, 4 attacks. Bishop 9, and 3 up save. Commander Bright Sword. 3 plus weapon skill, 2 plus ballistic skill, strength 5, toughness 5, 5 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership 9, 3 up save, commander brave storm, weapon skill 3 plus, ballistic skill 2 plus, strength 5, toughness 5, 5 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership 9, 2 up save, uh, chasso, chevastos, rain, uh, movement 8, 3 plus weapon skill, 2 plus ballistic skill, strength 5, toughness 5, 5 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership 9, 3 up save, uh, chasso, Aracon, movement 8, 3 plus, then 2 plus again, strength 5, toughness 5, 6 wins for him, 4 attacks, leadership 9, and 3 up save. And then sub commander torch star, 3 plus, 2 plus ballistic skill, strength 5, toughness 5, 5 wins, 4 attacks, leadership 9, and 3 up save. And then broadside, chasseray, uh, oblatai, uh, 9 slash 0, is movement 5, 5 plus weapon skill, only 4 plus for ballistic skill, strength 5, toughness 5, 6 wins, 3 attacks, leadership 8, and 2 up save. And then uh, Ovesa, 6 plus weapon skill, 4 plus ballistic skill, strength 6, toughness 7, 14 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership 8, and 2 up, so, so that's them.
great thing. Very cool. There they are, there's a showcase picture of Net fighting against the Orcs. What a team. Very cool. Uh, let's talk about Battleforged armies on the roster, reinforcement points, giving you some rosters here as well. Alright, points updates. This is the the tasty bit here. Uh, so you can look forward to some points reductions uh, for some of your models. So I've marked some of my codexes, and for those codexes I have marked, I haven't done all of them, I will be able to show you uh, what the original points cost was, uh, and then the updated points cost. Uh, and then, as I said, what you can do is you can make a note of these, or you can update your codex, uh, no problem at all. So uh, Adeptus Custodes then, Alaris Custodians, uh, points now is 65, Custodian Wardens, 43, Shield Captains, 100, Shield Captain Alaris Terminator Armors 110, Venerable Contempt to Dreadnoughts 90, and the Venerable Land Raider is 217. Uh, Trajan Valoris is 185 points now. The Salvo Launcher is 15 points. This is for War Gear. Sentinel Blade 7, and Storm Shield for characters is now 10 for them. Uh, then Adeptus Mechanicus units. I don't have my codex here for them, uh, but Admech here. Fulgurite Electro Priests, 16 points. Iron Strider Ballistarii, 40 points. Cataphron Breaches, 20 points. This is like a 40k pronunciation examination. Because <laughs> I've got to call some of these out. I tried my best here. Uh, Cataphron Destroyers, 15 points. Uh, Night Crusaders, 285. And so is the Errant Gallant Paladin and Warden. Onaga Dune Crawler is 70 points. That's dropped off the top of my head. I think it was 90, so it's gone down. Servitor, only a handful, I think, have, have gone up in price. So you're looking at discounts here across a lot of the older codexes. Uh, servitors, it is good. You, you're, you're balancing things out. So this is uh, a welcome update here, especially for the older codex players. So Blood Angels, uh, Astro Militarum, Space Marines. They'll all be happy here with these. Servitors then, five points. I know there were two, so they've gone up. Uh, Sakarian Infiltrators, 12 points. Rustalkers, 10 points. Rangers, 7. Vanguard, 8. Tech Priest Dominus, 80. Tech Priest Engines here, 30 points. Belisarius Call, I know off the top of my head he was 250, I think. It's 190 now. Uh, Admech War Gear. Uh, Avenger Gatling Cannon 75, Cognis Flame is 7, Cognis Heavy Stub is 2, Enhanced Data Tether is 5, Eradication Beam is 30, Eradication Ray is 10, Heavy Arc Rifle is 6, Heavy Flame is 14, or 17, Heavy Stub is 2, Hydraulic Claw 5, uh, Incendine Combustor 15, Castle and Fist is 25, uh, Melter Guns 14, Multi Melters 22, Phosphor Blast Pistols 3, Phosphor Blasters 6, Phosphor Serpentors 4, Plasma Calibers 11, Plasma Cannon 16, Power Fist is 9, it was 12, R uh, Radium Pistol 0, Servo Arm 0, Taser Goads 4, Torsion Cannons 20, Transonic Blades 4, Transcerenic Arquebus 15, that's the Sniper Rifle, Twin Cognis Auto Cannons 20, Twin Cognis Laz Cannon. 40, Twin Icarus Auto Cannon, 20. Right, Astra Militarum, uh, next, Armored Sentinels, 30, Astropaths, 26, the Bane Hammers, 370, so is the Bane Sword, Chimera, 60, Commissars, 15, Conscripts, are 4, Death Strike, is 125, Doom Hammers, 400, the Hydras, 85, Lord Commissars, 30, Manticores 125, Officer of the Fleets 20, Ogryn Bodyguard 45, Ogryns 24, Primary Psycho 38, Rattlings is 7, Scout Sentinels 30, Servitors 5, Shadow Sword 410, Stormlord 410, Storm Sword, Storm Lords 410, Storm Sword is 370, Tank Commanders 142, Tarox is 50, Tarox Primes 80, uh, Valkyries 100, Veterans are 5, uh, the Weird Vein Psychers are 7, and uh, the 
Wyverns are 95. Color Sergeant Kells 40. Commissar Yarrick's 100. Lord Castellan Creed is 55. Nork Dead Dog uh, is 60. And Slime Arbo is 55. War Gear, the Augur Array, 5 points. Auto Cannon's 10. I think it was 12. Chem Cannon's 7. Demolisher Cannon's 20. I think that's crashed down in price, which is very cool. Eradication Nova Cannon, 15. Execution of Plasma Cannon, 15. Exterminator Auto Cannon, 17. Just as James's army is strong enough. He's got all these discounts now. Flame is six. That was eight, I think. Four staves, eight. Grenade launchers, three. Grenadier gauntlet, five. Heavy flamers, 14. Heavy stubbers, two. Hellstrike missiles, 12. Hotshot laser gun, zero. Hotshot laser pistol, zero. Hotshot volley gun, seven. Medipacks, five. Melter gun, model with a ballistic skill, four plus is 10. Melter gun, other models, 14. Missile launcher, 15. Multi laser, five. Multi melter, 15. Multiple rocket pod eight, plasma cannon ten, uh, plasma gun, other models eleven, power fist eight, servo arm zero, storm shield zero, torox battle cannon eighteen, torox gatling cannon twenty, torox missile launcher thirty, tempestus command rod five, twin heavy flamer five, and vanquisher battle cannon fifteen. Right, Blood Angels next. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I, the better thing about this is I'm cool, he's out in the appropriate order. So, Captain in Cataphractite armor is 95 points, was 126. Captain in Gravis armor was, is 100, uh, was 102, now 90. Captain Terminator armor, 105, now down to 95. Chaplain Terminator armor uh, was 100, now 90. Librarian Dreadnought, 130, now 110. That's a discount for me there. Librarian and Terminator armor, 120, now 102. Uh, Primaris Captain, 87 points, now down to 78. Uh, Primaris Chaplain, 85, now 77. The named characters, as they've most of these have dropped. Astraf. 143, now 105. Uh, Kabulo, 94, now 83. Captain Tycho, 95, now 85. Mephiston, 145, he's gone up to 160. Popular choice, but he's more expensive now. Commander Dante, 215, now 175. Big discount there. Uh, Lamartis, 129, down, down to 100. Discounted again. The Sanguinot, 170, now down to 150. Another discount there for me, so I wonder what I could get now to, to boost the army up a little bit. Uh, intercessors have come down, they're 18, now 17. Uh, Cataphractide Terminators, 30, now 26. Company Veterans, 16, now 14. Contempt of Dreadnought, 98, now 88. Death Company Dreadnought, 90, now 80. A Normal Dreadnought, uh, 70, now 60. Furioso Dreadnought, 80, now 70. Redemptor Dreadnought, 140, now 105. Big discount there. Sanguinary Ancient, 84, now 64. Another good discount. Servitors have gone up from 2 to 5. Uh, Stone Guard. It's like a shipping forecast doing this. If you're, <laughs> if you're in the UK, you might be aware of what that is. Uh, but it all makes sense to, to us 40k players here. <laughs> Stone Guard Veterans, 16, they're now 14. Tartarus Terminator Squad. 26 points, now 23. Terminator Assault Squad, 26 points, now 23 points. Regular Terminators, the same. Vanguard Veterans, 16, now 14. Vanguard Veterans Squad with Jump Packs, 18, now 17. Add Assault Squad with Jump Packs, 16, now 15. Attack Bikes, 35, now 25. That's a big discount. Bike Squads, 25, now 21. With the Attack Bike, 25 and 35, or down to 25. Uh, land Speeders, 70, now down to 50. Mm. Scout Bikes, uh, so interesting that for the, my Imperial Fists might bring the Land Speeders back. So nice discount that. Uh, scout Bike Squads, 23, now 21. Bow Predators, 100 points, now 90. Some of these are updates that have been around, because that, that was talked about before. So some of these, have been, it's all officiated, all been finalized now in this chapter proof. Uh, the Hunter, 90 points, now 80. A Land Raider, 239 down to 200. Land Raider Crusader, 244 now down to 200. And the Redeemer, 
244 down to 180. Drastic reductions. And the Predator 102 down to 90. Drop pod 83, now 63. Uh, Repulsor 210, now 185. And then your war gear uh, starters grenade launcher 11 down to 6. Cerberus launcher 5 down to 0. Combi flamer 11 down to 8. Combi Grav, 17 down to 13. Combi Melter, 19 down to 15. Combi Plasma, 15 down to 11. Cyclone Missile Launcher, 50 down to 38. Flamer, 9 down to 6. Flamestorm Gauntlets, 18 down to 15. Frag Cannon, 38 down to 30. Grav Gun, uh, 15 down to 12. Grenade Harness, 8 down to 0. Heavy Flamer, 17 down to 14. Heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon, 36 down to 30. Uh, heavy Plasma Cannon, 30 down to 16 Icarus Storm Cannon 17 down to 10 the Inferno Pistol 9 down to 7 uh, Oh boy I'm going to skip this page <laughs> uh, The Melter Gun 17 down to 14 Missile Launcher 25 down to 20 Multi Melter 27 down to 22 I get, There's a lot of discounts in my army here Plasma Cannon, 21 down to 16. Plasma Cutter, uh, 7 down to 5. Plasma Gun, 13 down to 11. Plasma Pistol, 7 down to 5. Uh, Reaper Auto Cannon, 18 down to 10. Sniper Rifle, 4 down to 2. Stalker Bolt Rifle, 2 down to 0. So they've evened that out. I mean, this sounds... Reading this out is, is heavy going, but... When I got this book through, I was just going through all the updates and changes here, desperate to find out if my armor's been reduced and then starting to figure out what can add. You know, and the sooner you can find that out, the better. So um, this gives you a heads up here. Blood Talons, this is melee weapons. 65 down to 35. Chain Fists, 22 down to 11. Cuts halved in cost. Dreadnought Close Combat Weapon, 40 down to 30. Eviscerator, 22 down to 11. Uh, Furious Fists, they were 40 slash 50 for the pair, it's now 30 slash 40. Mastercrafted Power Sword, 10 down to 6. Power Fist, 12 down to 9. Relic Blade, at nine, uh, 21 down to 9. Massive reduction there. Servo Arm, 12 down to 0. Uh, Storm Shield for characters, 15 now to 10. And Storm Shield for other models, this is thinking of Thunder Hammer Terminators, 5 down to 2. Very cheap now to give them. Uh, storm shields. So some brilliant reductions there for Blood Angels. It really help them out. You'll be able to get more in your army now, more models. So yeah, you know, your rules are still there, but you're able just to spend points to get more stuff. So that's uh, a good way of balancing them out. So that means all this we've covered for the Blood Angels. All of this, all of this, all of this. So Chaos Bastion, Heavy Bolter is now eight. I suppose it's to the 10. Chaos Demons units then. Uh, Bellacore, 240. Blood Crushers, 47. Blood Thirster of Incessant or Incensate Rage, 260. Uh, Blood Thirster of Unfettered Fury, 240. The Blue Scribe, 75. <laughs> Sounds like a bingo game. <laughs> Blue Scribe, 75. Uh, Burning Chariot, 110. <laughs> Change caster 65. Oh, that was... Right, keep going. Demonet 6. Exalted Flamer 70. Exalted Seeker Chariot 80. Fate Skimmer 130. Feculent Null Mauls 85. Fiends 42. Flamers 25. Flesh Hounds 15. Gore Hounds are 24. Uh, Flux Master 85. Furies 8. Great Unclean One with. Bile Sword and Bile Blade, 275. Bile Sword and Plague Flail, 285. Doomsday Bell and Bile Blade, <laughs> 295. Doomsday Bell and Plague Flail, 305. Uh, Hell Flayer, 70. Herald of Slanesh, 60. Keros Fate Weaver, 285. Keeper of Secrets, 165. Lord of Change, 270. Lord of Change of Bell, Full Sword, 275. Mask of Slanesh, 65 plague drones 40 rotigus 285 screamers 28 seeker chariot 50 seekers 15 scar brand 330 skull cannon 90 skull master 90 soul grinder 180 
Spoilpox Scrivener, 95, and Wrath of Corn Bloodthirster, 240. Uh, War Gear, Chanting Horrors for Burning Chariot and Fate Skimmer, 5. Demonic Icon, 15. Instrument of Chaos, 10. Chaos Space Marines, regular units. Spikers, 21. Cultists, 5. Land Raiders, 200. Just uh, all matches now, this is all nice and fair. This is good. Uh, Chaos Lord and Terminator Armor 95, Chaos Spawn 25, Chaos Terminator 28, Chaos Vindicator 125, Chosen 14, Defiler 120, Forge Fiend 100, Hellbrute 60, Helldrake 120, Corn Lord of Scars 380, Maul of Fiend 120, Mutilators 35, and again I'm not sure if these are all discounts, say the vast majority of them are, Plague Marines 16, Possessed 20, Raptors 15, Rubik Marines 16, that is a discount because I'm sure they start at 20. Sorcerer and Terminator Armor 102, Sorcerer of Jump Pack 112, Warp Talents 12, Warp Smith 35. Demonettes 6, Horrors, Blue Horrors 5, Pair of Brimstone Horrors 3, Pink Horrors 7. Uh, named characters here, Cyphers 80, Fabius Bile 90, Huron Blackheart 105, Khan the Betrayer 120, Lucius the Eternal 85. War Gear is Auto Cannon 10, Blight Launcher 10, Bubotic Axe 5, Chain Fist 11, Combi Flamer 8, Combi Melter 15, Combi Plasma 11, Demonic Icon 15, Doom Siren 8, Ectoplasma Cannon 20, Flamer 6, Force Axe 10, Force Stave 8, Force Sword 8, Hades Auto Cannon 20, Havoc Launcher 6, Heavy Flamer 14, Heavy Stubber 2, Hellbrute Fists, uh, Single is 30, Pair is 40, Hellbrute Flame is 30, Hellbrute Plasma Cannon 16, Icon of Flame 5, Icon of Vengeance 5, Inferno Bolt Pistol 0, Instrument of Chaos is 10, Melter Gun 14, Missile Launcher 20, Multi Melter 22, Plague Belcher 7, Plague Spewer 15, Plasma Gun 11, Plasma Pistol 5, Power Fist 9, Power Scourge 35, Predator Auto Cannons 40, Reaper Auto Cannons 10, Soul Reaper Cannon, I'm sure that was 15, it's now 10. Twin Heavy Flamers 28, Twin Laz Cannon, I'm sure that was 50, it's now 40. Warp Bolter 3, Warp Flame, Flame Pistol 3, Warp Flamer 10, I'm sure that was 15 as well. Craft Worlds, ah, Eldar. My army struggles because I have a, a list that's a, a bit too unique. Uh, he's struggling at the moment, but uh, and I, I've been through this already. So, yeah, I have these here just so you can compare. So, Dark Reapers already knew about this change because they, they take an increase. Uh, so, five, they're now 12. The Falcon, 125 is now 110. The Farseer, uh, 100, now 110, so that's actually increased. Fire Dragons are seven, they're now 10, so they've increased. Knight Spinner, 135, now 110. Shining Spears, they've, they've gone up. 18, they're now 24. So quite an increase for them. Spirit Seer, uh, we already knew about this, 45, now 65. Storm Guardian, 7, now 6. Striking Scorpions, bit of a surprise to you this one. 13 points, now 10. Good discount for them. Support Weapons, including the crew, 30, now 25. Vipers, uh, 50 now 40, War Walkers 50 now 40, so a bit of bargain for them. The Warlock 35 now 55, the Conclave at 30 now 45. Wave Serpents they've gone up as well, 107 now 120. Wind Riders 18 now 16. The Wraith Knight 402 now 315 points. So my crazy list where I've kept the Wraith Knight. Uh, that's just sort of <laughs> really encouraged me to keep the Wraith Knight now in the list. Uh, a, a drastic redu reduction in points for him. So is he is he now worth taking uh, 85 points, 87 points reduced for his cost? The Wraith Lord as well, 103 down to 85 for him. The Avatar, another unit I'd take controversially, 250 points, now 220, so 30 point discount on him. Eldrad, 150 points, now 135. Uh, Fugan as well, 150, now 140. Jane Zar, 140, now 115. Karandras, 150, now 125. 
And Prince Uriel, who I thought was a bargain at 100 points, is now 70 points. A very, very cheap HQ. Uh, Aldari Missile Launcher, 25, now 20. Avenger Shuriken Catapult, 4, now 3. D Sives, 22, now 20. Death Spinner, 8, now 6. Dragon's Breath Flamer, 17, now 14. Fire Pike, 20, now 17. Flamer, uh, 9, now 6. Fusion Gun, this is good, 17, now 14. Fusion Pistol, 9, now 7. Scatter Laser, they've actually reduced, 10, now 7. The Scorpion's Claw for the Exarch, the Striking Scorpions, 12, now 9. Shadow Weaver, 25, now 12. Star Cannon, 15, now 13. Sun Cannon, a crazy reduction for that, 118 points, now 60. Really good, that. I, I always thought that was ridiculously priced. So not only has the Wraith Knight dropped in points cost, uh, but the one of the main weapons it can take has uh, come crashing down as well. So now the Wraith Knight, I should see a comeback here. You're looking at a big reduction, and it's a, a great model. Yeah, and the stat line of weapons and so on options are fine. It's just the points, I think, has crippled it. Twin Adari Missile Launcher is, uh, was 50, now 40. Twin Scatter Laser, 17, now 12. And uh, feel free to discuss this kind of, what I'm talking about here in the comments section. If you want to start a discussion about Wraith Knights, whether they're viable now or not, then by all means go ahead. And if you think what I'm doing here is a good idea as well, sharing these points with you, just to give you an idea if it's... But I think this is the main feature here of Chapter Approved, as well as uh, the missions, uh, a fantastic feature as well. So, and all the updates and so on, all pulled together into one publication. So it's a, a great job here from Games Workshop. And the other thing is, if you want to talk about it in the comments section, is everything going to be fair now? The older co codex is seeing some nice tasty discounts to bring them into line uh, with more modern ones. So you've got like this situation here, brand new codex, powerful, Blood Angels struggling, now the points reductions. Does that even it out? Is everything fair uh, in that regard? So it's a step in the right direction. This is an interesting dynamic now to 40k. Uh, twin Aldomus launches now 40. Twin Scatter Laser 17 now 12. Twin Shuriken Catapult, and this is helpful for your Shining Spears and Jet Bikes and so on. Twin Shuriken Catapult is 5, it's now 2. Twin Star Cannon 28 now 24. Vibro Cannon 30 now 15. The Wraith Cannon 17 now 15. The Biting Blade for Striker Scorpion X Arc is now 5, it was 8. And they're all the way down here. Scatter Shield 20 is now 30. And the Shimmer Shield 20 is now 10. That's your update for uh, Eldar. Some welcome points reductions there. And a lot of reductions for my units, because units that I have are the unpopular ones. <laughs> so they've received discounts. <laughs> so quite happy about that. Uh, so this is all of these. On to Craft World. Craft World all the way down here to Dark Angels. One of the older codexes here. Yeah, Dark Angel players are going to be happy, I think. The Salt Scorpion Jump Packs, uh, 15. Company Veterans, 14. Uh, Contempt of Dreadnought, 88. Deathwing Cataphractide Terminator Squad, 26. Deathwing Knights, 35. Deathwing Tartarus Terminator Squad, 23. Deathwing Terminator Squad, 23. Dreadnought, 60. Drop Pod, 63. Hunter, 80. Intercessor, 17. Interrogator Chaplain, 80. Interrogator Chaplain Terminator, 100. Interrogator Chaplain and Jump Pack 95, Land Raiders, this is usual 200, 200, 180 for the Redeemer, Librarian and Terminator Armor 102, Master in Cataphract Armor 95, Master in Gravis 90, Master in Terminator Armor 95, Primaris Chaplain 77, Primaris Master 78, Ravenwing Attack Bike 25, same for the Ravenwing Bike Squad 21, well, the Attack Bike is 25. Ravenwing Black Knights, 38. Ravenwing Dark Talent, 180. Ravenwing Land Speeders, 50. Redemptor Dragnaught, 105. Repulsors, 185. Scout Bikes, 21. Servitors, 5. Venerable Dragnaught, 80. The War Gear, Astartes Grenade Launcher, 6. Autobot Rifle, 1. Auxiliary Grenade Launcher. Bolt Pistol Bolt Rifle. And Cerberus Launcher, 0. Chain Fist, 11. Chainsword, 0. Combi Flamer, 8. Combi Grove, 13. Combi Melter, 15. Combi Plasma, 11. Cyclone Missile Launcher 38, Dreadnought Combat Weapon 30, Viscerator 11, Flamer 6, Flamestorm Gauntlets 15, Frag Cannons 
zero, grav gun 12, grenade harness zero, heavy flamer 14, heavy onslaught gatling cannon 30, heavy plasma cannon 16, Icarus auto cannon 10, crack grenades 10, uh, zero, master crafted power sword 6, melter gun 14, missile launcher 20, multi melter 22, plasma cannon 16, plasma cutter 5, plasma gun 11, plasma pistol 5, power fist 9, power sword 4, Repro Auto Cannon 10, Radic Blade 9, Silver Arm 0, Sniper Rifle 2, Stalker Bot Rifle 0, um, Character Storm Shield 10, Other Models 2, Twin Heavy Plasma Cannon 24, Twin Laser Cannon 40, Twin Multi Multi 40, Typhoon Missile Launcher 38, Volkite Charger 3, Whirlwind Cast Launcher 15, Whirlwind Vengeance Launcher 20, Wrist Mounted Grenade Launcher 0. Uh, Death Guard. Biologus Putrefire is 60, Blight Lord Terminators 34, Chaos Cult is 5, Chaos Lamina 200, Chaos Lord Terminator on 95, Chaos Spawn 25, Dim Prince of Nurgle with Wings 170, Death Shroud Terminators 35, Defiler 120, Hellbrute 60, Lord of Contagions 95, uh, Mephitic Blight Launcher 75, Noxious Blightbringer 50, Plague Marines 18, Plague Surgeon 54, Plague Burst Crawler 100, Possessed 20, Sorcerer and Terminator Armor 102, and Tallyman 50. Beasts of Nurgle 34, Plague Drones 40, and then War Gear, Bile Spurt <laughs> 0, Blight Launcher 10, Chain Fist 11, Combi Flamer 8, Combi Melter 15, Combi Plasma 11, uh, Entropy Cannon 15, Flamer 6, Forsax 10, Force Stave 8, Force Sword 8, uh, Havoc Launcher 6, Heavy Flame 14, Heavy Stubber 2, Hellbrute Fist 30 slash 40, Hellbrute Hammer 30, Hellbrute Plasma Cannon 16, Melter Gun 14, Missile Launcher 20, Multi Melter is 22, Plague Belcher 7, Plague Spear 15, Plague Reaper 20, Plague Spurt Gauntlet 0, Plasma Gun 11, Plasma Pistol 5, Power Fist 9, Power Scourge 35, Predator Auto Cannon 40, Reaper Auto Cannon 10, Twin Heavy Flamer 28, Twin Laser Cannon 40. Death Guard units, or Death Watch is next here. Yeah. So, Bikers 21, Chaplain Terminator Armor 90, Corvus Blackstar 135, Dreadnought 60, Drop Pod 63, Intercessors 17, Aggressors 21, Hellblasters 18, Inceptors 25, Reavers 18. Land Raiders, usual points for them, reductions. Librarian and Terminator on 102, Primaris Chaplain 77, Primaris Watch Captain 78, Redemptor Dreadnought 105, Repulsor 185, Terminators 23, Vanguard Veterans 17, Venerable Dread 80, Watch Captain Terminator Armor 95, Veterans, Bikers 21, or Veterans 14, Bikers 21. Black Shield 16, Terminators 23, Vanguard Veterans 17. War Gear, Absolver Bolt Pistol 0, Auxiliary Grenade Launcher 0, Bolt Carbine 2, Bolt Pistol 0, Chain Fist 11, Combi Flamer 9. Uh, I know I've repeated these, but maybe there's someone going through their Death Watch Codex, and so I'll just call them out again here. Combi Grave 14, Combi Melter 16, uh, Plas Combi Plasma 12. Cyclone Missile Launcher 38, Dreadnought Close Combat Weapon is 30, Flamer's, Flamer is 16, uh, 6, sorry, Flamer is 6, Flamer Storm Gauntlet is 15, Grav Gun 12, Hand Flamer 1, Heavy Bolter, Heavy Bolt Pistol, sorry, is 0, Heavy Flamer 14, Heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon 30, Heavy Plasma Cannon 16, Inferno Pistol 7, Melter Gun 14, Missile Launcher 20, Multi Melter 22, Plasma Gun 11, Plasma Pistol 5, Power Fist 9, Relic Blade 9, Stalker Bolt Rifle, Storm Shield, Characters is 10, Other Models 2, Twin Laser Cannons 40. And that's them. Gene Steeler Colts. Ah, so this is you updating, you'll be updating the index for these until the codex comes out, which will be soon. But until that time, Pure Strain Gene Steelers are 15 points each. Uh, the War Gear. Auto Cannon is 10, Cult Icon 20, Eradicator Nova Cannon 15, Exterminator Auto Cannon 17, Flamer 6, Grenade Launcher 3, Heavy Flamer 14, Heavy Rock Saw 14, Heavy Seismic Cannon 15, Heavy Stubber 2, Missile Launcher 15, Multi Laser 5, 
Oh, do you have to 15? Plasma. Uh, plasma Cannon, 10. Power Hammer, 16. Power Maul, 4. Power Pick, 10. Pure Strain, 10, 0. Seismic Cannon, 10. Vanquisher Battle Cannon, 15. Uh, then Grey Knights next. Again, one of the older codexes here. So Grey Knights are going to be happy about this. It's a shorter list, but they don't have as many units. This is a, a, a lot of changes here for this codex. Apothecary, uh, 75. Brother Captain, 110. Brotherhood, An Brotherhood Ancient, 90. Brotherhood Champion, 90. Chaplain, 105. Uh, Dreadnought, 65. Grandmaster, 130. Grandmaster and Nemesis, Dreg Knight, 170. Interceptor Squad, 21. Land Raiders is uh, 200 for the Raider, 200 for the Crusader, 180 for the Redeemer. Librarian, 113. Paladin Ancient, 98. Paladin Squad, 47. Purifier Squad, 19. Razorback, 70. Servitors, 5. Uh, Storm Raven Gunship 192, Tech Marine 55, Terminator Squad 39, Venerable Dragonaut 85, Brother Captain Stern 105, Castle and Crow 80, Grandmaster Voldus 153, Lord Calder Drago 180. War Gear is Assault Cannon 22, Combi Flamer 8, Combi Melter 15, Combi Plasma 11, Dragonaut Close Combat Weapon 30, Flamer 6, Heavy Flamer 14, Heavy Incinerator 19, Heavy Plasma Cannon 16, Heavy Side Cannon 24, Hurricane Bolter 10, Icarus Storm Cannon 10, uh, Incinerator 9, uh, for the Terminator it's 13, Missile Launcher 20, Multi Melter 22, Plasma Cutter 16, sorry, Plasma Cannon 16, Plasma Cutter 5, Silencer for the Terminator's 8, Side Cannon 7, Side Cannon Terminator 11, Servo Arm 0, Twin Assault Cannon 44, Twin Heavy Plasma Cannon, 24. Twin Laser Cannon, 40. Twin multi 40. Typhoon Missile Launcher, 38. Okay, then for Harlequins. Uh, Fusion Pistol, 7. That's it. <laughs> Imperial Knights. Yep. Uh, heavy Flamer, 14. Heavy Stubber, 2. Melter Gun, 14. Multi Laser, 5. Twin Icarus Auto Cannon, 20. That's it. Then you're on to Necrons. And I've been going through this, and there is some discounts for them. I'm thinking of adding like another unit of warriors to my army, because this is your discounts here. Uh, Katan Shard of the Night bring up 210, now 180. And Necron's got an army that's struggling at the moment, so these discounts are going to be welcome news for Necron players. Uh, Luminos Zerus, 143, now 120. Imitech the Stormlord, 200, now 160. Uh, then we saw Zendrik 180, now 150. Uh, Trezan the Infinite, uh, 100, now 90. Uh, Vargard, Obreon, 140, now 125. Catacomb Command Barge, 138, is now 124, so there's a discount for me there. Uh, the Lord is 73, now 65. Death Marks, 19, now 17. Necron Warriors, 12, now 11. If you've got a lot of those, that soon adds up. Flave one, uh, no, they're the same. Triarch Praetorians, uh, a unit I take controversially. There's expensive, 22, now 16. Significant drop for them. The Triarch Stalker, 117, now 85. Significant drop for that as well. Canoptic Wraiths, they've gone down, 55, they're now 48. The Annihilation Barge, 133, now 100. Uh, the Doomsday Arc, 193, now 160. The Monolith, 381, now 320. And the Transcendent Catan, 225, now 200. The Ghost Stark's dropped, 160, now 145. The Flyers have gone down, which is really good news. Doom Scythe, 205, now 150, big drop. Night Scythe, 160, now 135. The Obelisk, 426, now 380. The Tesseract Vault has gone up, 496, now 566. Gauze Blasters, that's for your Immortals. And the jet bikes as well, 9, now 7. The heat rate, 54, now 40. Uh, the heavy gauze cannon, 27, now 20. The particle shredder, 41, now 30. Tesla carbine, 9, now 7. And the twin heavy gauze cannon, 54, now 40. And then the war scythe has actually gone down, 11 points, now 9. And then dispersion shields, last one here, 12 points, significantly now dropping down to 6. So a big discount. Uh, for the Lich Guard there, can dispersion shields.
boost their price down. So good news there for Necron players. Some tasty discounts for them. So that's all those down to here. Officio Assassinorum. Uh, the Kaleidos Assassin, 70 points. The Vindicare, uh, 80 points. Sisters of Silence, Prosecutors, 10 points. Vigilators, 10 points. Witch Seekers, 10 points. Sisters of Silence, War Gear, Executioner, Great Blade, 5 points. And Flamer, 6 points. Space Friends, this is going to take a while. Uh, this is yeah, the most popular faction. I, I'll go through all of these again for those of you that want to update your, your lists here. Yeah, this this is uh, a lot of changes here. But again, Space Rains have been left out of it for ages. They, they get their first codex come out at the start. It's all good, a lot of buzz. As time goes on, the other codexes creep. They get more and more powerful. And then by the time you come around towards the end of refreshing the codex, Space Marines are, are looking tired out. So this is a refreshing points reduction here. So I'll be looking at these for my Imperial Fists. And for my Red Scorpions, Primaris Army that I have as well. So Aggressors, uh, 21 points. Assault Squad with Jump Packs, 15. Attack Bikes, 25. Bike Squads, 21. Attack Bikes, 25. Captain Cataphracti Armor, 95. Captain Gravis, 90. Captain Terminator on 95. Captain on the Bike is 88. Captain Fracti Terminator Squad, 26. Centurion Devastator, 40. Chaplain Terminator Armor, 90. Company Veterans 14, Contempt of Dreadnought 88, Dreadnought 860, Drop Pod 63, Hunter 80, Inceptor Squad 25, Intercessor 17, Ironclad Dreadnought 70, Land Raiders 200, Crusader 200, Redeemer 180, Land Speeders 50, Librarians 88, I'd take him for my Imperial Fists. So this is good, Librarian and Terminator Armor 102, Librarian with a Jump Pack 112, Primaris Captain 78, Primaris Chaplain 77, Razorback 70, Redemptor Dragnaut 105, The Repulsors 185, Scout Bikes 21, Servitors 5, Stalker 75, Sterngard Veterans 14, Storm Raven Gunship 192, Tartarus Terminators 23, Terminator Assault Squad 23, Terminator Squad 23, Terminus Ultra 250, uh, Vanguard Veterans 14, Vanguard Veteran Rejump Pack 17, Venerable Dragnaut 80, Vindicator 125, Whirlwind, 70. Name characters, Lysander, 130. Sicarius, 110. Cassius, 85. Grimaldus, 90. Uh, Tigurius, 115. Helbrecht, uh, 150. Uh, Kosaro Khan, 90. Pedro Cantor, 150. Gilliman has gone up to 400. Kronos, 30. Telian, 65. Vulcan Heston, 135. War Gear, Assault Bolter 10, Assault Cannon 22, Plasma Incinerator 17, Astartes Grenade Launcher 6, Auto Bolt Rifle 1, Auto Bolt Storm Gauntlets 12, Auxiliary Grenade Launcher 0, Bolt Pistol Bolt Rifle 0, Bolt Storm Gauntlet 22, Centurion Assault Launchers 0, Cerberus Launcher 0, Chain Fist 11, Chain Sword 0, Combi Flame 8, Grav, Combi Grav 13, Combi Melter 15, Combi Plasma 11, Cyclone Miss Launcher 38, Dreadnought Chain Fist 38, Dreadnought Combat Weapon, other models 30, Viscerator 11, Flamer 6, Flamestorm Gauntlet 15, Force Axe 10, Force Stave 8, Force Sword 8, Fred Grenade 0, Grav Gun 12, Grenade Harness 0, Heavy Flamer 14, Heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon 30, Heavy Plasma Cannon 16, Hurricane Bolter 10, Icarus Storm Cannon 10, uh, Ironclad Assault Launchers 5, Crack Grenades 0, Mastercrafty Power Sword 6, Melter Gun 14, Missile Launcher 20, Multi Melter 22, Plasma Cannon 16, Plasma Cutter 5, Plasma Exterminator 17, Plasma Gun 11, Plasma Pistol 5, Power Fist 9, Power Sword 4, Predator Auto Cannon 40, Reaper Auto Cannon 10, Relic Blade 9, Seismic Hammer 40, Servo Arm 0, Sniper Rifle 2, Stalker Bolt Rifle 0, Storm Shield for characters is 10. Storm Shield of models is 2. Twin Assault Cannon 44. Uh, twin Heavy Plasma Cannon 24. Twin Laser Cannon 40. Twin Multi Melter 40. Typhoon Missile Launcher 38. Volkite Charger 3. Whirlwind Castle Launcher 15. Whirlwind Vengeance Launcher 20. Wrist Mounted Grenade Launcher uh, 0. That's it. So, uh, Space Wolves now. We're through these mostly. You've got space, we've got tower. Still to come. Thousand suns, Tyranids.
There's some others to cover here, but Space Horse, they'll be glad of any discounts here as well. Yeah. So, Contemptor, 88, Dreadnought, 60, Drop Pod, 63, Hunter, 80, Intercessor, 17, the Land Raiders here, 200, Crusader, 200, uh, Redeemer, 180, Land Speeders, 50, Primaris Wolf Lord, 78, Primaris Wolf Priest, 80, Redemptor, Dreadnought, 105, Repulsor, 185, Rune Priest and Terminator Armor 102, Servitors 5, Sky Claws 15, Sky Claw Attack Bikes 25, Swift Claws, same 21, Attack Bikes 25, Venerable Dreadnought 80, Wolf Guard 14, Wolf Guard Cataphracti Terminators 26, Wolf Guard Tartarus Terminators 23, Wolf Guard Terminators 23, Wolf Guard and Cataphracti, Wolf Lord and Cataphracti Armor 95, Wolf Lord and Gravis Armor 90, Wolf Lord and Terminator Armor 95, Wolf Priest in Terminator Armor 95. Uh, the war gear, check out the space stream one because it's the same, 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 all the way down. I can't see any differences here in, in that because they'll match, just seeing if there's anything unique for the space wolves. All the way down, no, it's the same. Volkite charger, we've got that's three. Wrist mounted grenade launcher zero. Yeah, that's it. No frost axe or anything I'm looking for here. No. Nothing. So just the war gear I called out for space range to transfer that over for space warps. Right, so Tau Empire. I've been looking at those. There's some discounts for my armies, which is really good. So Tau players will be happy. It's an old air codex, powerful one, but still some really good discounts available. Here. So first one's a Devilfish, 80 points now, 70. Crisis Battle Suits, this is a welcome change. They've fallen out of favour, but they may come back again. 42 points starting cost, now 27. I might try and bring something back. Crisis Bodyguards, 45 now, 30. The Ghost Kills dropped, 82 now, 70. Uh, Piranhas have dropped, 38 now, 30. The gun drones have dropped, they were 12, that was a bit of a funny number for them, they've dropped down to 10, which is good. Uh, the broadsides, I just, this is mad here, the broadside battle suit, 60 points, now 35. And I've got four of them in my army, so that's a big drop. Sky Ray is, uh, was 100, now 80. Fast sight, 151, now 125. And Shadow Sum, 167, now 110. Big discount for that useful unit. Advanced Targeting System, all other models, 12, now 6. Uh, Iridium Armor, 15, now 10. Useful to take that. Uh, the Cyclic Iron Raker for your Ghost Kill, 39, now 32. Flamer is now, that was 9, it's now 6. Fusion Blaster, popular choice I like to take in my army, 21 points, now 18. Fusion Collider, 35, now 30. High Output Burst Cannon, 20, now 16. The Iron Accelerator, 65, now 50. Missile Pods, good reduction for these, 24, now 15. Worth taking those now, I think. Plasma Rifle, 11, now 8. Pulse Driver Cannon, 97, now 50. Uh, quad Iron Turret, 45, now 30. Rail Rifle, 17 now 12 and the rail gun for my hammerheads 30 points instead of 38 and that is that that's tau tau thousand sons here so the new army that came from the plus channel secret army and now have those may now need to paint a couple more models because there's some reductions here chaos cultists 5 chaos land raider 200 chaos spawn 2 25, Defiler, 120, Forge Fiend, 100, Hellbrute, 60, Heldrake, 120, Mauler Fiend, 120, so there's one there, uh, Mutalith, Vortex Beast, 125, Rubik Marines, as I said before, I think they were 20, they're now 16, Scarab Occult Terminators, I think they're 40 points each, they're now 30, Sorcerer, 90, Terminator and, Sorcerer and Terminator, I'm 102, uh, Flamers, 25, Horrors, Blue Horrors, uh, 5, Brimstone Horrors 3, Pink Horrors 7, Screamers 28, and the War Gear now, Combi Flamer 8, Combi Melter 15, Demonic Icon 15, 
Ectoplasma Cannon 20, Flamer 6, Hades Auto Cannon 20, Havoc Launcher 6, Heavy Flamer 14, Heavy Stubber 2, Heavy Warp Flamer 17, Hellbrute Fists, Single and Pair 30 and 40, Hellbrute Hammer 30, Hellbrute Plasma Cannon 16, Hellframe Sorak. Yes, I got that for Terminators 15 points. Inferno Bolt Pistol 0, Instrument of Chaos 10, Missile Launch 20, Multi Motor 22, Plasma Pistol 5, Power Scourge 35, Reaper Auto Cannon 10, Soul Reaper Cannon 10, that was sure that was 15, Twin Heavy Flamer 28, Twin Lights Cannon 40, Warp Flame Pistol 3, Warp Flamer is 10. Tyranids is the last one. Uh, Biovores 50, Broodlord 115, Exocrine 170, Harpy 105, Horospex 170, Hive Chrome 135, uh, Hive Titan Wings 190, Lictor 30, Malceptor 150, Neurophrope 90, Pyrovores 25, Turvigon 180, Toxicrine 140, Tyranny Prime 70, Tyrannocyte 75, Tyrannifex 151, Death Leaper 60, uh, The Red Terror 50, Swarm Lord 250, and the War Gear Heavy Venom Cannon is 18, Massive Scything Talons, two or more pairs, Trigon Trigon Primes 40, Strangleform Cannons 15, and the Venom Cannon is 12, so reducing some of the heavier firepower here. So they've updated Forge World, uh, nowhere near as popular as these. I've just gone through the popular ones here, so you can update your regular books and so on. Uh, but you've got access to this as well when you get the book, so you can update all the values for your Forge World units. It's all these, these, and these as well. And you come to uh, the updated data sheet. So for Intercessors, they're just saying um, that they... Intercessors have gone, got, gone through various upgrades, you know, like for Space Wolves and so on. So they've just upgraded all of that and lined it all up nicely. Uh, so you've got all of your options that are available. Uh, and then new stat lines for Fiends, Horrors, Blood Crushers, and Flesh Hounds. Just updated stat lines for them as well in this book. Nice terrain. Yeah, beautiful. So there it is. That's. Um, Chapter approved 2018. Uh, so some really good points reductions for some of the codexes, some of the older codexes for sure. So Tau Empire, Necrons, Eldar, Blood Angels, Space Marines, uh, Cow Space Marines, really getting some a whole spread of discounts there. Hopefully that'll even the game out to some degree. Uh, keep some of them more expensive and then reducing cost to some of the units and factions that are struggling. So it's good to see that. Some uh, fantastic looking missions in here as well. Very much looking forward to going through uh, the different missions available in this book. So, uh, as I mentioned, Sisters of Battle, check out a separate video for them, uh, and then uh, you'll be able to see, be like a normal codex review, uh, so you can really focus on Sisters of Battle in that video. But there it is, that's chapter approved 2018. Thanks to Games Workshop for sending me a copy ahead of time, uh, and usually I go to gamingfigures.com, you can check them out, they do Games Workshop at a discounted rate along with a load of other gaming systems as well there it is uh, chapter approved 2018 edition uh, leave your comments and feedback in the comment section below thanks for watching and tune in next time